Today we're going to be going over some of the weirdest things in Fortnite, like little secrets, little funny things that you probably never even knew. This video is brought to you guys by GameFlip, the cheapest place to get gift cards and memberships for Xbox Live, PSN, Steam, and even Amazon and more. Like recently, I bought a year of Xbox Live for $17 when it's usually $60. So definitely check it out through the link in the description. I really recommend it. Alright guys, so yeah, we've got a ton of fun stuff in this video and I've been wanting to do this video for a while actually because there's some things that I noticed in this game after playing it for a while like some easter eggs, a secret spot on the map, and even a secret item in the past I want to talk about a bit. There's some weird things in this game that I wanted to show to you guys that I'm pretty sure most of you probably won't know. I'm sure you might know some of them, but trust me, if you watch all of these, you're bound to learn something new. Some of these are really quite crazy. So yeah guys, if you enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button down below. Honestly, it helps me out so much, encourages me to make more videos, and along with that, since it's the weekend, comment what your plans are, whether it's in Fortnite or just, or in real life, I'm curious to see what you guys have planned. Personally, you know I'm gonna be trying to go for some wins. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's jump into it with the first thing on this list. Alright, so yeah, well, let's start off with a small one. This one isn't that big, and some of you might have noticed it, and I actually personally noticed it the other day, and it's just one of those really weird, funny easter eggs that I can't believe I didn't find out about sooner. But yeah, if you guys want to see this one personally, you have to go to the beautiful location on the map, Tomato Town. You know, the home of the best pizza in the world with the gigantic tomato man head on the top of the building. Oh man, just, just so beautiful. Which are the name of the restaurant, which I never actually checked, is Uncle Pete's Pizza Pit, which is definitely a mouthful. But in this location, there's something funny that was added recently because as you guys know, the tomato man skin, or more specifically the tomato head, that's his official name. One of the best skins in the game, honestly one of my favorites. But his skin was recently recently added in the game and it was inspired by this location. Now something that's funny about that and that I just recently noticed when going into Tomato Town is that when you walk in through the front door, if you go to the left side of like the ordering place and look at the wall, there's this picture of Tomato Man standing in front of Uncle Pete's Pizza Pit. Which is super funny because obviously this skin was recently added, so they recently added this picture to Tomato Town, which I think is really really cool. Now along with that, this picture is also, if you happen to notice it or kind of connect the dots with it, it is the promotional picture for the Tomato Head skin. So as you can see here, here is the skin um, from the official promotional images standing next to the picture of the shop. And it's just kind of funny that they made this promotional image and actually placed it onto the map itself. So it's something in the game. Usually when they do a promotional image, they just, you know, make it up, go into the game, maybe add some effects to it afterwards. I don't know exactly how they do it. But in this one, the picture sticks around and is actually updated on the map, which I thought was something pretty cool. Oh, where are you going? Come back. No. All right, guys, but for this fact, we're actually going to jump in game here because I want to show you it in detail, but it has to do with this weird secret like spot on the map that is in Shifty Shaft. So obviously Shifty Shaft's right here. Not the best place to get loot. I personally don't like it because it's so cramped. I like being able to build and stuff and there's a lot of places in there that you can't really build, but there is a funny little secret spot that you might want to try out once in a while. So here we go, just dropping down here and let's check it out. My gun. No, no, come back. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't need a gun. All we need is some materials. You just need, like, a little bit of wood. Let's get, like, 50 right there. That should be plenty. We only really need one plank. But yeah, once you're at Shifty, you want to go down to the bottom of Shifty because there's this weird little spot up in, like, all of this scaffolding. So I have to find it here. Remember where it is. I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. So if you pull out your stairs and put it about right here and... What are you doing, man? You, you're gonna go into the spot too? <laughs> yeah, like, there you go. Yeah, there's this crouching spot that you can get to up here. So if you put down, like, a uh, floor right there, you can crawl back into this area. He's trying to, like, destroy it down there. But if you're hiding, like, right here, like, nobody's ever gonna find you. That's why I kind of wish there was, like, a hide-and-seek mode in Fortnite. Imagine that. But yeah, I don't know exactly, like, how useful this would be. But say you're in Shifty and you have, like, 10 HP and you need to find a really good hiding spot to, you know, heal up. If you go up here, nobody's ever going to find you. So, you know, start using your meds. Everybody's gonna run straight by you. And, like, look at that. You run under here. Nobody's gonna be looking up there. It's crazy. You can also maybe jump and... No. Now, I'm pretty sure that's, like, the main spot you can do it. You can also get, like right in here, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's useful at all, but it's kind of a funny spot. So yeah, there's just a weird little secret spot I found and thought I would show you guys. So let's get back into the normal commentary. 
Now as for the third one here, this one is actually really near Tomato Town and it has to do with the containers, but this one is kind of a secret of mine and my friends. I don't think like really anybody else knows this besides us. I'm sure there's some people, but this one is just so random, so completely secret, and it was a complete accident that we found it out. But there is a little bit of a funny thing in the container. So if you don't know where the containers are, they're next to Tomato Town. They're this square area right here. Doesn't have a name on the map, but if you drop there, there's obviously a ton of shipping containers. I know, I know, we're really creative with our names. Crazy containers, we'll call it that. But if you drop here, you know, you usually break down the containers. It's a decent way of getting metal. It's super slow, but obviously they're made of metal. They should drop metal when you break them, right? Well, not always. There's actually this one container that gives you brick instead of metal for some really weird reason. So as you can see here, I am in the containers. And if I hit a normal one of the containers, obviously it gives me metal as it should normally. But if you run over to this container right here near one of the staircases uh, that goes up to like the top floor, this container, as you can see, for some odd stupid reason, it gives you brick. Now I know that's completely random, but honestly, just think about it. Why does this give you brick when every single other one of the containers gives you metal? And it's not like this model of the container always gives you brick, because if you break this one over here, which is the same exact type of container, it gives you metal. So for some reason, this one container on the side gives you brick, and I honestly don't know why, but it is definitely one of the weirdest things in this game that I was able to find out. But actually, there's another funny thing at the crates that's super secret and is for sure an easter egg, whereas the previous one we just went through, I think that's more of a glitch. This one is a for sure easter egg, and it's been hidden like super, super well. So I'll show you it right here, and honestly, I don't really know what it means. So if you guys have any ideas, be sure to leave them down below in the comments, because I'm a little bit confused about what exactly it is for. But basically, if you want to see this easter egg, obviously you go back to the crates, or containers, whatever you want to call them, and you actually need to get inside one of the crates that's covered up by crates around it. So how you do that is by finding this one right over here. I believe it's like near the middle. And if you then break this container right in front of it, it takes a while. Come on, come on. There we go. There you go. Boom. We're now inside. But once you take a look inside, you can see this, uh, this briefcase with a little something inside of it. Now, what exactly is in there? I have no clue. It looks like a conveyor belt, some sort of mini factory that's like spitting out bushes, like the bushes you find in like Anarchy Acres, maybe Fatal Fields, the ones that they're growing there. Also, it looks like the conveyor belt is from Flush Factory, but I have no idea of what exactly this means. It is putting out those bushes, and actually, if we go into theater mode, we can get a closer look here. And actually, I don't know if that, like, bigger portion is in Flush Factory, but it's kind of funny. There's, like, a mini chair up there, so I honestly don't know. Obviously, this is an Easter egg. It's hidden in the middle of, like, some crates that nobody's going to be able to see unless they, you know, break one of them down. It's super hidden. It's the only one on the map that I know of, so I don't know. This is why I need your guys' help to leave ideas down below in the comments, because I'm kind of at a loss for what this is for. So yeah, if you have an idea, comment it down below, and hopefully we can figure this out. But moving on to the next one, gotta get through these, and this is actually number five, and this is one of my personal favorites, because I actually forgot about it until I saw a post referencing this uh, secret item, sort of secret, I mean, you could get it a while ago, but basically, it's a retired item that nobody really has, because of how weird it was to get. So unless you were here for season one, you're probably not gonna know what this is, and even if you were here for season one like I was, you may have forgotten about it. Now, the item that I am talking about here is the pickaxe known as the Raider's Revenge. Yeah, guys, this really weird pickaxe that is freaking gnarly. It's made out of, like, a fireman's axe. It's got, like, duct tape on it, and then the very top is, like, bolted into a pickaxe head. And then along with that, you've got barbed wire. Somebody went to town on this. This is, uh, pretty out there. <laughs> but yeah, this pickaxe, and also if you want to check out the little description of it right here, a harvesting tool that is wrapped in rusty barbed wire and ready to settle the score. Scary stuff right there. But yeah, the pickaxe itself isn't like too flashy, it's not like the coolest one in the game, but the way that you got it back in Season 1 is not simply by buying it. You actually had to level up your account during Season 1 to level 35 just to be able to buy this pickaxe. That's how the season rewards kind of worked back in Season 1 a little bit, and this was actually the high reward that you could get, or it's not really a reward if you even want to call it that. I mean, you had to pay for your reward. You leveled up just to get the opportunity to spend 15 bucks in V-Bucks to get this, you know, pretty basic pickaxe. So yeah, guys, if you do happen to see somebody with this pickaxe, they are an OG player for sure. Definitely cool because of how rare it is, but other than that, you know, pretty unique. But last up on the list, this one is a little bit conspiracy, all right? You know, we've been talking about, like, in uh, the previous video I put up about the changes to the meteor, we've been trying to figure out a little bit of about what's going on with the superheroes in the game right now. Things are changing on the map. Epic Games is trying to tell some sort of story, and this thing right here that I just found out about thanks to a guy named McD 
donut first quality name right there but he made a post that's connecting some of the uh, weird like investigation trucks and cars that are going around the map looking at the meteors and connecting them with one of the villains that is in the game so this is some really interesting stuff I don't know if it means anything quite yet but it's too big to completely ignore so yeah put on your conspiracy hats let's jump right into it so basically taking a quick look at the symbol of you know these trucks like if you go to dusty divot check out some of these trucks they have this symbol on the side that is actually very similar to the vendor tech symbol that is seen all over the save the world game is like the company that makes a bunch of the mechanical stuff now that's not the main thing that i want to talk about and maybe i'll talk about that more in a separate video but it's funny because this exact symbol is found on the back of the mechanical lady skin <laughs> kind of forgetting what the name of it is right now but the exact same color and shape is on the very back of this character which is very interesting because that is a villain character in some of the promotional images it is very clearly like a villain type character so with that being said is this secret government group actually helping out the villains in this story i don't know yet guys so be sure to leave your ideas down below in the comments but that is definitely a really weird connection that could point towards some interesting stuff happening in the future i don't know yet but yeah guys that is going to be the final secret thing in this video so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to subscribe for more videos like this coming up in the near future along with that you can check out some of my previous videos such as on the left talking about the changes to the meteor and then on the right going through eight changes that were added in the recent update with the burst rifle but other than that guys hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one